Indiana Chowdhury of Chibizu. You're welcome to Borderline School Online Chemistry Class for SS1 students. Now, our topic for today will be atomic structure. We're talking about the structure of the atom. Now, our objective will be at the end of the lesson, students should know the subatomic particles that make up an atom, that is, the particles found in an atom, the characteristics of the subatomic particles, the atomic numbers, and the atomic mass. Now, let's look at the definition of an atom before we look at the structure of an atom. Atom is defined as the smallest indivisible part of an element. That is, the atom is the smallest part of an element. Atom is now made up of some particles which are called the subatomic particles. Now, what are the names of these subatomic particles? There are three in numbers. Number one, we have the proton, we have the neutron, and number three, we have the electron. Now, let's talk more about the structure of an atom. The atom is made up of two parts, which are the orbits and the nucleus. Those are the two parts. Now, it is on this part where is where we have the three subatomic particles, like the orbit, this is the orbit of the atom, and on the orbit of the atom is where the electron is found. So, the electron revolve on the orbit of the atom. And the second part is the nucleus. The nucleus is usually found at the center of the atom. It is centrally placed. Now, the nucleus contains the proton and the neutron. So take note of that. The electron is found on the orbit and why the nucleus is the, the proton and neutron are found inside the nucleus of the atom. Now, if you look here, I added this note, an orbit. If you are asked to define what an orbit is, you can say an orbit is a region where electron is located. Now, Let's look at the characteristics of the subatomic particles. Now, for the first one, which we call the proton, like I told you, it is located in the nucleus, and it is positively charged. It is positively charged, and it has a mass unit of 1. The second one, which is called neutron, just think of neutral. Now, the neutron is also found in the nucleus. It is neutral. That means it has no charge, and the mass is 1 unit. And the third subatomic particle is the electron. The electron is found on the orbit. It is negatively charged and it has a mass of 1 over 1840. So it gives you something 0, 0.000. So it has the smallest mass unit. Now let's look at the, how these subatomic particles affect an atom. That takes us to the atomic mass and atomic number because these subatomic particles are what give the characteristics of the atomic mass and the atomic number in a neutral atom in a neutral atom that is an atom that has no charge that is atom with no charge the number of proton is equal to the number of electron that means the proton number is equal to the electron number for example sodium atom when it's in the neutral state it has a proton number of 11 so the electron also will be what 11. So if I ask you for a neutral atom, what is the proton number? Once you get the proton number, you know the number of electron. Now, atomic number. What is the atomic number? This is the number of proton in the nucleus of an atom. This is the number of proton in the nucleus of an atom. That is the atomic number. And now, what is atomic mass? This is the sum total of the proton and neutron in an Atom. Now, to understand this concept better, let's look at the symbol, what we call chemical symbol. Now, this is the, an element and this is the symbol X. Now, when you see an element written in this form and you see a number up, I'm using A here, and you see a number down Z. Now, the number up represents the atomic mass, while the number down usually represents the atomic number. For example, look at sodium. Take a look at this sodium. You see two numbers, one up. And one down. Now, this represents the atomic mass, and this represents what atomic number. I can write something like let me give one example. I can write magnesium, magnesium 24 and 12. This is the atomic mass class, and this is the atomic number. So, from the definition, now that means the proton number for this atom, look at this, look at this sodium. The proton number for this sodium atom is, you can agree with me, it is 11. And why the mass number, like I said, the mass number of atomic mass, this is the sum total of the proton and neutron. So this 23 
is your P proton plus your M, which is 23. Why the P proton is equal to what? 11 volt. So, if I ask you, how do you now get the neutron number? Since we know that the proton number is 11, and the atomic mass is the sum of the proton and neutron, what you simply do is this. You come here, this proton is 11 plus N is equal to 23. So, therefore, your 23, which is the atomic mass, becomes, you make n of the formula, or rather, your n is equal to 23 minus 11, and that will give you a 12. So that becomes the neutron number. So that is how you get the neutron number. So you just subtract the proton from the atomic mass, so what you get is the neutron. So now that we've come to the end of the class. So here you have an assignment, a take-home assignment, you which you would add. Thank you very much for participating with us. I hope you enjoy the class and you understand what atomic structure is all about. Stay safe.